A lot of people don't think about this, but there are actually, you know, advantages to using Google search ads audience targeting. If you think about a search ads campaign, you know, usually the targeting is based on the keyword. So like this campaign here that we've selected from the drop down is Phoenix Closets. It's for like closet remodeling, closet installation, that type of thing, right? And a lot of the targeting is going to be coming from like the keywords that people are searching for. So if someone's searching for closet installation near me, you know, we know that they're probably a good person to put our ads in front of. But there's also audience targeting, which can be kind of like another layer of targeting to help you put your ads in front of the right type of people. And Google has set this up in a way that you can kind of set it up and monitor what's going on ahead of time before you actually refine your targeting based on audiences. So let's dive into this so you can kind of see how this works. Now obviously I have selected this campaign from up here and then under audiences, keywords, and content, I've selected audiences. So basically that's the audiences section for this campaign specifically here. And we'll see a number of different things. We see audience segments, demographics, and exclusions down here at the very bottom. And this top part is really what we're going to be focused on. This is the audience segments. Now, we've actually already added some audience segments. It's kind of hidden, but you'll see this show table option right here. And you'll see all these different audiences, audience segments that have been added in here, right? But if you just click edit audience segments here, and I like to do this at the campaign level, but we can come in and, you know, find anything related to like home and garden that we think would be relevant, like home improvement, that's a huge one, right? Like if somebody's looking to have their closet read done and improved, that's basically home improvement, right? And then when we're adding these in, I recommend starting at the observation level of targeting here, which is recommended. And basically, it's just going to give us a report of the performance for these different audiences so that we can then start targeting more, um, start using more refined audience targeting based on what's actually working. So that is to say, we can add in some of these that we feel, some of these audience segments that we feel are, you know, helpful. So we'll just select a couple of them here. Home office. Somebody might want to turn their closet into a home office. Who knows? <laughs> home and garden. So we've got a couple of here that we think are going to be relevant. We can click save. That's going to add them into our list of audience segments here. And then as our ads run, we're going to start to see where we're getting clicks from. So we might be getting clicks from people who are interested in real estate, right? Or home improvement. And then eventually we'll start to get conversion data, assuming that we have conversions tracking set up properly and what that will do is it'll allow us to see like hey look 80 percent of our leads are coming from people who are interested in home improvement but we're spending 80 percent of our budget on clicks from people who are not interested in home improvement like if that was the case then we could start um, adding in these these audience segments as targeting options, which is basically going to limit our ads to only show to those people who are in those audiences that also search for our keywords, right? So this is pretty advanced audience targeting. The other way to do it is to just start adding a bid adjustment. So maybe it's people that are interested in real estate never convert into leads. So we could decrease our bid adjustment on this. So like, you know, 50% decrease, which means if we were normally going to pay $10 for a click from people in that audience, we would now only pay $5 for a click from people in that audience. And then when we find the one that is, 
you know, maybe home furnishings is doing really well, we could do the opposite. We could do an increase by 50%. So where we would normally be willing to spend $10 for a click, we're now going to spend $15 for a click from people within that audience. And so we can kind of naturally start filtering things out by just bidding more for clicks from a specific audience where we're getting good results and bidding less in audiences where we're not getting specific results. Or like I was saying before, if we want to, you know, if it's really clear that, look, all of our solid customers are coming from this one audience, then we can just come in here and narrow down that targeting to that specific audience by adding it as a targeting audience rather than an observation audience. So that's kind of the basics of uh, Google Ads uh, or Google Search Ads audience targeting. But if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of you know audience targeting on search campaigns or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below. But we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries. And you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.